Sammy Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers. What's up? Back up in it. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Um, this is a retro. This is an old joint. Yes. Uh, Air. This is not Air. It's Zoom Flight 95. Air Zoom Flight 95. Air Zoom Flight 95. Yes. All right. Um, if if you guys don't know, this was worn by Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd. It wasn't his shoe though, right? No, it wasn't his shoe. Yeah. A few other people wore it too. But it, it's just a classic shoe and they brought it back. Um, but yeah. do we know if this is falling zoom yet or not? We'll see, man. We'll All right. See. So we're going to do a mashup video. We're going to do a first impressions because I just got these in today. And a um, dismantling video. Mm -hmm. Of course, a shout out to fastpass.cn as always. Mm -hmm. So, all right, let's get started. All right, so the translucent, this is what, semi or just trans? I think it's yeah. just translucent, right? It's pretty, yeah, it's almost fully translucent. Yeah. It's got a little bit of uh, opaqueness to it. Yeah. But pretty translucent. And it's just a big wave pattern. Yeah. Uh, interesting. And traction seems to be pretty good. So we'll see, but it's translucent, so we'll see how the dust is. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it'll be pretty good. Um, and then uh, the this is not carbon fiber. It kind of looks like carbon yeah, fiber like from it. a far away, but it's not. It's just plastic. Yeah. Uh, made for chink. So um, there's that. And um, you know, it's it's the it has these little oval things. I I don't I still don't really like this design. It's weird. I know. I guess they're putting that there for. Um, bilateral support just looks kind of spacey but yeah. it, you know it's definitely a thing it looks kind of crazy yeah but the cushioning um on nike actual uh, actual the nike uh website it says uh zoom air cushioning mm -hmm. for responsiveness and um that's all it says i um i, I really hate how nike does that they're, yeah, they're not they... specific no you know under armor is like oh uh, there is uh, fucking charge here, micro G in the heel, dual blended stuff like that. But yeah. Nike is just like, oh, zoom air cushion. Yeah. Like, where is the zoom? You know, it's re it's actually really not chill. Yeah, it's not because uh, uh, you know consumers are more informed more than ever. Uh, a lot of people want to know what they're getting, what they're you know spending their hard-earned money on. Exactly. Uh, so, but uh, there is a yeah, okay. So, air zoom unit. Where is it? Full length? Is it? Uh, are they pods, units? Yes. Well, we have the dismantling here, so we're going to actually, actually let you know. Yes. So, here is the cross-section cut. And, of course, it's not full-length zoom no. like in the original shoe, which is... I'm pretty sure the original shoe had full-length zoom, right? I think it was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But in this model, this 2017 uh, model, it has max air. That's why it says air. Yeah. Well, I don't think it's Max Air. It's just Air. Nike yeah, Air. Like air sole unit. Yeah. In the heel, and then a, a zoom unit in the forefoot. It's pretty top loaded, but there is still a little yeah. bit of phylon on top of it. So we'll see how that feels. Um, I, I couldn't really feel it that much, um, just walking in it. But uh, I'll have to play ball in it. So um, but yeah, I'm kind of disappointed in how the cushioning is. All right, so the forefoot zoom unit is 8.2 millimeters um, thick. Mm -hmm. That's just standard for yeah. the forefoot zoom unit, whatever. And then in the heel is this weird ass thing. What is? That's yeah. the air. That's the air sole unit. Yeah, that's the air uh, air sole unit. I it's, guess that's it's, that's despicable. The air unit is pretty thick though, 15.62 millimeters. Yeah. But you know, you usually can't feel anything. Yeah, it's know, just a little that. airbag. Yeah. So, um, cushioning, I mean, it, it's probably going to be okay. Yeah. Uh, I feel like it's going to be good. Um, but, you know, nothing special. Yeah. All right, and then you have a um, midfoot shank plate, of course. Mm -hmm. um, nothing special there. And then in the forefoot, it's 16.72 millimeters thick, uh, including the outsole. So, uh, that's pretty... That's pretty high off the ground. Yeah. Usually it's like what, 12 to like 15, I think. Yeah. So 16 is a little thick, but you know, that's okay. And then the heel is 27 millimeters. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah. So it's basically an 11 millimeter uh, offset. Um, that's a lot of offset. Yeah. The KD10 was what, like two millimeters, three yeah. millimeters, which is kind of crazy. All right, so now moving on to the upper. The upper is a, uh, what is this like? It's a suede. It's a suede. Kind of nubuck material. Yeah, it's like not a real soft suede. Yeah, it's like a pretty thick 
suede with just a nice little soft felt feel on the. Oh man, it's just too much, guys. Yeah, it's it, just too much shit on this. It's stiff. Yes. It's um, strong. It's supportive. Yes. And it's probably heavy. Probably heavy. Uh, let's actually weigh this. This is size seven and a half. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. Yeah. Pretty damn heavy. Uh, nothing compared to the up tempos. <laughs> but you know, Ooh. this is still pretty heavy. And um, uh, for fit, go true to size. I'm going true to size, and it's good. Uh, width wise, uh, I, I feel like it's more of a narrow. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not, I mean, uh, more of a normal fit or right. width. So uh, there's that. And um, you know, the tongue is se secured with these little uh, elastic bands. Mm -hmm. So I like that. Uh, I always like that. And um, you know, underneath everything, there is a kind of like a neoprene slide. Oh, there's a nylon in the um, ankle, ankle collar area, yeah. you know, inside everything, uh, lining everything. So that's good. Uh, the materials are okay. They're super thick and super freaking uh, bulky. But uh, I'll have to break it in for a really long time and see how this plays. But um, I feel like the traction and the cushions are going to be good. But then I think the upper is what's going to like make me not like this shoe yeah you know because like all the weight is from the upper yeah you know, from the bonafide the bonafide was super light mm -hmm. so uh i don't know we'll see we'll see but uh, aesthetically what do you think uh yeah i'm, I'm not a big fan <laughs> um I, I, there's something cool about it you know it, it's like f you know retro futuristic yeah, it's kind of weird. It's you like, know? it's supposed to be like now. Yeah. Like back then, they're like, oh, this is what shoes are going to exactly. look like. This is like what the future is and shit, but it looks weird. Yeah, it know? looks way weird. So, yeah. um, something's cool about it, but yeah, I, I don't really mess with them. What do you think? Yeah, same. Yeah. Same. What right. do you guys think aesthetically? Let us know. Exactly. So, uh, does it still basketball will be coming soon, even though it's not the original tech, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, what do you guys think about that? You know, Nike, you know, being a little ambiguous with their, you know, specs. Yeah. So, what do you guys think? Tell us in the comment section below, and we'll see, we'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Peace.